Hey everybody, Enigbane here, with my next big let's play, Red Dead Redemption. Oh, I love this game. This is such a great game. Um, I'm playing the Xbox version. I have both the Xbox version and the PS3 version. Uh, reason being is because I originally got it on my PS3, but then my PS3 started having some issues and I wanted to do this game, so I was like, well, maybe I should, you know, get it for the 360 for my, you know, being able to record it for you guys to watch and such. So here we go, uh, that guy seemed to be a bit of an asshole pushing that kid out of the way. Dickhead. Dickhead with his bowler derby. Piece of shit. Oh, I can't wait, I love this game. A lot of this first part is just going to be cutscenes though. <laughs> just to let you guys know. Just so you're aware of that fact, because there's a lot of them. Yep. Rockstar, they did an amazing job with this game. Uh, there was This is actually a sequel to a game, believe it or not, a game called Red Dead Revolver. Which came out, I don't even know when. I never played it. I wish I had, because it, for its time, it seemed like a, a decent game. But now you can't hardly find anything about it anymore. Which kind of sucks. There we go, Red Dead Redemption. Yes! Another game with voice acting, so I don't have to do it myself. Yay! And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to set up some co-commentary for this game uh, with somebody that I work with over at Content Pixel. Um, well, we've discussed it. But, Mrs. Bush, that they are yeah, these conversations don't matter much. It just kind of is supposed to give you the idea of what's going on in this world. Like those two old ladies are so thankful that we're bringing civilization to the world and yada yada yada. Yes, they've lost their land. But they've gained access to heaven. They don't care about that. They don't. Or if they didn't, I don't know about now, but... Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion... So, at any rate, um... Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something, I and I've forgotten what it was. Oh, yeah. Co-com there. I've been talk I uh, talked to uh, a guy I work with over there. His channel is uh, Toodle Pip Gaming. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um... And I might get him to do a little bit of co-commentary with me, uh, after I've established the Let's Play a little bit. Uh, so I think that'll be good. I think Not that will turn out really well. Um, father, hopefully. But I heard that pretty so. Soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. Only well, angels can fly. Silly. Can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Oh, isn't he in for a surprise? <sighs> Apparently, Mr. Yep, this is just a bunch of bull that nobody so cares about. Just cutscene, I mean. If you care, you can listen. If you can't hear over me, then you can read the subtitles at the bottom. That's why they are there. That came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, Stuck up, bitch. but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting thing. And it's not rule. A it's not being ruled by. Class. That's why America became free from Britain. family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Oh, so, uh, yeah, earlier, I repasted my CPU and my GPU and my laptop because I found out that's part of the reason why I was having so many issues with my computer is because the thermal paste had just completely worn through and destroyed, like just was making it horrible. And I fixed it. So, yay! Hopefully no more issues. Knock on wood. Yes, I just knocked on an actual piece of wood. Hmm. That girl's kinda cute, the one in the white shirt there, with the blonde hair. And who let you worship in peace? Do not kill each other and let you worship in peace. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. 
Well, here we are. The original this pedophile priest. Armadillo. Sorry, touchy subject. Sorry. Here we are. Armadillo. Yep, the guy that we've been focusing on with the wounds on his, the scars on his face, that guy with the black vest. That is our character. Yep. Go to the saloon. Use left stick to walk around, right stick to look around. Yep, so just like games have been on many systems for quite a while now. To run, hold A. To sprint, quickly tap A. That's running. And now I'm in a cutscene again, so I can't sprint. But I will show that off at some point. Oh, by the way, fair warning, I'm going to put a warning in the beginning, but there may be s mature content in this game, um, so if you're a younger viewer, please stop watching. Um, and if you're a parent, don't let your kids fucking watch this. Alright, good. We uh, got that out of the way. So here we go, we gotta get to the horses. Let's go, Marston. There's a whore on the stairs. Follow Jake to the horses. Howdy. That's sprinting, by the way. Let's get. Alright, if you tap A, you'll giddy up like that. If you're close to a, uh... If you're close to a... A, um... Bleh, a, a companion and you hold A while near them, then they will... you'll just match your speed to theirs. And to slow down and stop, you hold down the right bumper. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. Mm -hmm. so what are you doing I don't know if you saw that up there. It was I was talking about horses stamina. Well, like said, if you use up too much stamina, then the horse will try and throw you. Its stamina bar you is you see that little green bar by my mini map over there? <clears throat> That's my horse's stamina. If I use up too much stamina, it will throw me off the horse. Which would be bad. And I just missed made you miss a plot point. There's a guy holding up in this fort. His name is Bill Williamson. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt Old friend I of very long. Mr. Marston. Well, if you're for some female company, you can do um, worse than Armadillo. Old, they're old friends, and he and needs to go see him. Are. And Not apparently like he's one of the worst outlaws in the area and whatnot. And yada, 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 etc., etc. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Oh, and he's married. <laughs> Mr. Marston is married, so that's good to know. So I've been thinking at some point of doing a blind let's play. What do you guys think about that? Some kind of a blind LP, something where yeah. my reactions are actually oh, genuine and stuff. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater fig bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. But so yeah, tell me what you think about that. Doing a blind let's play, see how that works out. Talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Yep. And here's another thing. Damn coyotes. If you hold B, you'll actually look at important stuff. However, it's important to note that your controls stay the same, so you want to keep pushing forward to make your horse move forward. If you pull back or move to the side, Ooh, thinking you have to turn with the camera, Listen, mister. you'll this just run off to the side. Left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs>
Alright, here we are at Fort Mercer. Come on. Let's trot on over, huh? See how the bar is the, the bar is blue now over there, the stamina bar? That's because I'm not following the speed of a companion. So, alright, here we go. Cutscene time. Alright, so that's John. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> Implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Damn it, John. <laughs> and that's it. Game over. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yep. He survives. Believe it or not. Hmm. All right. Some people here to save us. That woman is wearing pants that look like a dress from the right angle. Oh, holy crap! That's the woman we saw on the train! Well, I'll be damned! Yeah, something interesting about the Old West, I don't know if you guys know, you know, you call shotgun, that means you get to sit in the front seat next to the driver. In the Old West, the, re the reason we call it shotgun is because in the Old West, when they were doing riding in wagons and stuff like that, literally the person who sat up front next to the driver was the person carrying the shotgun. Yep, that's why it's called that, so there you go, you learned something today. Well, you're alive. Yeah, so by the way, the cutscene's not over yet. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. 
Thank you, miss. <laughs> you seen my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm going to take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right, and for the record, $15 in that day and age was actually quite a lot of money. Yep. All right, that's going to be it for this first episode of Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Uh, in the next one, I apparently will go join Bonnie. Bonnie is the blue dot on the map. <clears throat> so we'll do that. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been Enigbane, and I'll see you next time. Bye.